welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Today's video is a Meals of the Week video. We haven't had one of these for a little while. It is just a random selection of six or seven meals that we've ate over the last 10 days. And I just thought I would share them with you. They are mostly meat free. They might all be meat free. I can't remember. We'll see when we watch it. <laughs> but um, some ideas if you're looking for a meat free meal or something extra to add to your uh, meal planning if you plan or I've been off the cuff lately I'm trying to be better I'm going to get back to planning it's more cost effective for me I think and time efficient so without further ado here are our meals of the last 10 days or so this is mine and Steve's tea for this evening and uh, the children have had potato waffles fish fingers and spaghetti hoops for their tea nice and easy because they played out until the very last minute because it was a sunny evening and they are tucked up in bed and we are going to have this i have made it from scratch it is curried green lentils with kale and um, one onion four cloves of garlic cooked them in a little oil added some cumin powder and like just like a teaspoon of each cumin powder garam masala ground coriander chili powder a uh, two teaspoons of um two teaspoons of curry powder and one chili powder and anything else some coriander seeds some salt and some turmeric and then i added a little water i added a tin of coconut milk a cup and a half of green lentils brought it to the boil and then two three big handfuls of kale and that is it's so tasty so delicious really easy just cooked just in one pan and then this minute, that's it and we've got some um, parathas um, that were frozen and I've just cooked those in the flat pan and that's our tea. Really nutritious, really easy and so delicious. Steve and I are having tortelloni soup for tea tonight. I have made this before. I've got a recipe video, I'll pop it below. The children had fish fingers and chips for tea, like the, the Young's chip shop fish fingers um, at about four o'clock and Steve hadn't finished work so um, I made something that we eat and they don't like for our tea this evening so we can have it once he'd finished. I'm really looking forward to it. This is one of our favourites. I have to try really hard not to just make it all the time so we don't get sick in ourselves and then it's not a favourite anymore. But yeah, uh, it's four cheese tortelloni today as well. Um, but always the same recipe. I just use different tortellonis each time and it's delicious. We are all eating together today. We are having pasta bake. Um, well, my version of it, I had the bake uh, filling in the freezer as it is. You can see some of it there peeping out. It's just lots of vegetables, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers, spinach, etc. And then I put the pasta on top with a little bechamel and some um, cheese as well. There's lots left if anyone wants any more or for lunches tomorrow and we've got a side salad and some for catch for catcher or for kasia, i think it's for catcher that i made myself it is um a sourdough oh, i moved out of the way it is a sourdough one uh, with rosemary and garlic so it's a couple of days old now but it'll do to go with um our tea and soak up some of the juices at the bottom but yeah it tastes really nice actually <laughs> it's my first attempt i've never made it before ever and it worked out really well so there is um what we're all having together nice and easy we've been playing outside because the weather's nice after school so we're all going to go and enjoy dinner together the children played outside all afternoon after they came home from school so they had like a picnic tea and Steve and i are having the quickest tea ever in the world i chucked some sliced tomato chopped cherry tomatoes in a pan with the tiny the tiniest bit of olive oil and then just cooked them for a, a minute on high heat Turned the heat down, put some borsan cheese in the pan and some pesto filled gnocchi. And that is it. That's all I've done. Cooked it for about three or four minutes and then added side salad. And that is all that we are having this evening. I've had a very busy day running errands here and there, washing the car, cleaning it out, all sorts of different things. So uh, we are just having loaded wedges. I made some wedges in the oven, topped them with mozzarella, cheddar, tomatoes, jalapenos, red onions, spring onions and red pepper and the children have had uh, chips and toasties. They had um, chicken and ham 
a pie at school for lunch and um, so they had a, a good meal like proper full meal at lunchtime so they had toasties and chips for tea because they were outside helping me with everything as well and um, it's lovely when the weather's nice i don't think it's going to last much longer but we're making the most of it while it is and being outside so yeah so i mean my tomatoes haven't the tomatoes haven't browned very much but the cheese is melted and it'll taste delicious this evening we are having a lasagna. It was actually the quickest and easiest lasagna ever. I had some lentil bolognese um, mixture filling in the freezer. I just defrosted that in the microwave, made a white sauce, laid it up, put it in the oven and I made some potato wedges. I just parboiled some potatoes that I'd peeled and chopped and then shoved them in the oven at the same time as the lasagna. Well, Pop them in while I was making the white sauce and then put the lasagna in and it was all ready at the same time. Nice and easy with a side salad. So there we go. There is a selection of what we've had for teas, dinner, meals, whatever you want to call it, over the last week or so. Um, I can't quite remember how many I've filmed. Maybe six or seven there you've seen. But that's what um that's what we've been eating. And uh hopefully um I'm going to have some more food content because I feel like our meals aren't varied enough at the moment so I'm going to try. So hopefully I've given you a little bit of inspiration or an idea to put on your meal plan this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!